Hi there folks, Andrea Cox here with TheHealthyHaven.net and AlkalizeWithAndrea.com here to do this quick video for all of you. I wanted to do a quick video today about salt and I realized I've never done a video for you about salt and I get so many emails about this very question. Andrea, should I eat salt? Should I not eat salt? If I do eat salt, what kind of salt should I do? Andre, I'm 80, 10, 10. They don't allow salt. Is that okay? Here's my take on salt. Salt blows me up like a Christmas tree. If I have salt, I better know that the next day I have nothing planned. However, there's two types of sodium that do not blow me up and I'm about to share them with all of you. So here I've got um, I've got coconut aminos, I've got a black lava salt, and um, what that means is it has a little bit of active charcoal in it, it's actually from Hawaii. And then I've got some Celtic sea salt, and in true Andrea form, these are all three sticky as can be, because I'm all the time making food, grabbing things, so just now I'm like, wow, nice, clean. Um, this salt, Celtic sea salt, actually does not blow me up at all. I can do a little bit on a salad. I'm fine. I actually love it on medjool dates wrapped in a bitter green and eaten like a little treat. I can have five or six of those and feel fantastic. Uh, the black lava salt I will actually take in and use if I've got some digestive distress or if I've eaten something that isn't quite stellar for me that I want to get rid of quicker. I'll do a little pinch of black lava salt. Why? Because the black lava salt, like I said, has activated charcoal in it, which is stellar to clean out the bowels. So that's when I use that. Now this actually has um, 113 milligrams of sodium per teaspoon. It's coconut aminos. It's full of amino acids, B vitamins, etc. And I would never use, I don't want to say the brand, but another amino um, uh, liquid amino, but I would use this one from from coconuts and uh, there's a there's just a huge difference and For me, I find when I use this and I make my raw cauliflower dish see the video I've, I've done a video on my raw cauliflower dish and I often use this in there or in one of my salads I do not blow up at all and I can do a photo shoot the next day I can go on the news the next day I can shoot videos the next day and still feel great so I hope this video helped you and you know I wanted to mention one more quick thing the best natural way to get your sodium is from celery celery is stellar so if you're trying to avoid celery you can use dried celery sprinkled on your food or you can just eat a stick of celery it's also very high in hydrochloric acid that's why I juice so much of it it's good for digestion so Andrea Cox here talking about salt if you like this video, definitely hit the like button and subscribe and share my YouTube channel with all your friends and family. So grateful for all of you. Be well.